Following the day of dusty storms near Odessa, the next 48 hours looked to be quiet for chasing. Fortunately for us, we wouldn't be too bored as the Texas Panhandle offers one of the most scenic geological formations in the lower 48, the Palo Duro Canyon. After exploring Palo Duro and Amarillo for two days, the weather gods finally brought some action back to the southern plains. May 22nd offered a couple target areas, of which we opted for the northern option up near Perryton, Texas. We got lunch and waited for the cap to erode in Perryton. There's sometimes a small sense of foreboding when waiting in these small towns. You never quite know what Mother Nature will bring to these people. too far down the road, and I would say, like, turn the car so it's facing this way. Yep. Once we... But if we go east, isn't the rain just gonna cut us off? What if we go, like, that way? Is it gonna pass? If we went that way, would it pass us? Maybe we go south. Give us a little more time, maybe stair step on the county road network before it rains on us. Alright, I guess we go south on the county road. Or on. Do you have eyes on the radar? Uh, yeah. Do we go up to that hill? Uh, sure. The storm continued to mature as we crossed back through our original staging point in Perryton. Its southeasterly motion meant that it was on a collision course with the town. This is the road. Yeah. Take it. Take it. I'll drop base right there. Yeah. say it wouldn't hurt good I'd say it wouldn't hurt to move it wouldn't hurt to move okay um I'll find an option see, let me see what's going on real quick can you play an animation yep it's my hand. yeah it might be searching some outflow that it's trying to register okay or it's expanding hail has been observed as 1.75 inches okay southwest yeah. yes This. Yep, and then do a UE. Just like perfect. Right there. Right there's good. Perfect. I'm gonna pull back just a little bit. Yeah. That's good. There we go. Just to make sure. While the original cell began to wither, the training storm was ramping up. This one looked like it was going to be the main show. Wait, there's a pull off right there. You want me to take it? Where? Right there. Uh, with the right gate. Yeah.
Upon arriving back in Amarillo, we met up with our chaser friends to celebrate both a successful chase and Connor's 22nd birthday. The storms we saw went tornado warned a few times, but ultimately nothing touched down in Perryton. There was some hail damage from the storm, but this would pale in comparison to what would happen only a few weeks later. That earlier sense of foreboding came to fruition on June 15th, when an EF3 tornado tore through the heart of Perryton. Little did we know, the buildings we were driving by would be destroyed weeks later. Three lives were lost in Perryton, and 100 more were injured. It was another reminder that what we seek can have dire consequences for others.